What's good, what's good, what's good? Lovely Soul Empress here coming to do Scorpio's November love reading. Just a couple quick things. I will link my Patreon in the description box. Should you want to join, you will find the extended for this reading as well as the other 12 signs. And there's daily and weekly content over there. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Also, I will link my website where you can book a personal with me if you feel I resonate with you. And you'll find some of my products as well as my last uh, ritual for the year that will be happening on November 19th in Scorpio season. Okay, so Taurus uh, full moon in Scorpio. So Scorpios, y'all should really take advantage of that. It's closing on the full moon, on the new moon. Okay, so you need to get in there by November 4th, okay? So let's talk about your pre-shuffle. You had quite an interesting one, all right? You got the five of swords here with the magician i'm getting sneaky energy somebody who was manipulative it could be an aries could be a virgo but the lovers okay i feel like there there could be you know there's some type of choice or this magician is making a choice okay you got the king of wands okay this is aries leo and sag fire energy somebody's rushing in Okay, you got the Knight of Wands here. This is somebody who's kind of impulsive. Okay, um, I'm hearing, um, I don't know what, who sings that. I'm blessed, yes. Da 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 Bless, I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Right? I don't know who sings that. I feel like somebody doesn't like that you're blessed. Okay? You got temperance here. Could be a Sagittarius of importance. Uh, but I feel like this Knight of Wands has been waiting to come in on some bullshit. Like, biding their time with this magician energy. You got wealthy man, all right? And then after that, you got privileged lady and mature woman, all right? I feel like somebody hates that you, you know, either you're with a wealthy partner or y'all do well together. They feel like you get too much, okay? Could be a salty chick, could be a salty dude, however the, you know, all right? I feel like you see this coming with this mature woman, okay? Male or female, okay? There's, there's an older woman, it could be you that's involved in this, okay? But there's unexpected income here, okay? And I feel like if they were, if there was somebody who was salty, they're gonna be more salty. Or I feel like if this person is like, you know, plotting on you in some way, like it somehow it benefits you. Like the energy they're putting out is actually bringing you blessings, okay? Patience, okay? I told you somebody's waiting on something, but now it feels like you are too. Mm. like you're waiting for them to get tripped up or something and then there's denial love and envy this person's gonna try to act like they like you know like it's water under the bridge or that's not true or i would never like clutch his pearls right but love and envy is there i feel like the envious of the love that you have okay and then you got free yourself all right you also got blessings in abundance, like I said, okay? And a vulnerability and freedom. You know, I feel like something that you do makes someone else feel vulnerable. I also feel like spirits telling you, like, don't stop moving the way you're moving because of somebody else. Like, don't feel like you have to hide your blessings or some shit. Dream thief. Refusal of the call. This, you know, I feel like this person, they've been getting, like, messages or synchronicities to tell them to knock it off, and they're not, okay? I also feel like this is how they're looking at your blessings. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. I feel like that's what your ancestors and spirit guides are doing right now. Okay, and then Root Girl, the disowned self. There's something about this. Okay. 
that may have made you feel disempowered or you have something else going on that you like feel like right now is almost like you're detached or you're looking from the outside or like an overview. It's like you checked out. You could be on some type of autopilot to handle this situation or either something else. Now, you got the Five of Swords here with the Magician. So this, I told you, like, I felt like this person is manipulative and they, you know, they're sneaky. And it feels like they're waiting for opportunities to, to bring problems, right? And it could be when you already have a lot on your plate. So it feels like the daggers they're trying to throw miss because, not because they technically miss, but because, you know, you don't give a fuck about that because it's a lot smaller than other things. But I feel like somehow it, it flips, okay? So we're going to, um, we're going to pull a Celtic. Spirit, can you show me the situation for my Scorpio gang? One card, please. One card for Scorpio, please. And one card for the blockage. And one card for the foundation. And one card for what's falling away. And one card for what's crowning. And one card for what's coming in. And one card for how Scorpio sees themselves. And one card for how others see Scor Scorpio. Hold on, guys. One card for what's in Scorpio's hopes and fears. And one card for the most likely outcome. Three of cups is the overall energy. Eight of cups under that. You could have walked away from someone, people, places, and things. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're trying to distance yourself from something. Page of Pentacles. I feel like it's something that... You, this could involve children. But I feel like you're walking away from something... Because you feel like with this page of pentacles, like it's an offer with strings attached, okay? The two of cups and the high priestess with the five of swords underneath. See, I, it's like as if you know that it's being represented in one way, but it's really secretly about some type of manipulation. Okay, so um, for the situation, you got the death card, which is Scorpio's. Your uh, card, happy birthday, it's your season, right? Death card spirit, why? Seven of Wands. You're going through a transformation. There could have been some type of uh, death and transformation, a new beginning, right? I also said the root girl disowned self. Like you got a lot going on. It could be, you know, dark night of the soul shit that you went through. We had all those retrogrades. And it's like you're protecting this new reinvention with the Seven of Wands. I feel like this is above the fray, like you survived the, the battle or whatever the, the turmoil was. Okay. High Priestess. You could have been doing all of this silently. And the High Priestess with the Empress, that's hella powerful. 
I feel like you manifested blocking things that no longer serve you. This is also intuitive messages that you got from the divine about how to bring in justice to, to your situation. Could be a Libra, but the, it's like you block certain things to bring in justice. And now you're waiting for your ships to come in and you're protecting your whatever it is, your endeavor, your new life, whatever. Uh, you're protecting it like the Queen of Swords from this King of Wands. Okay, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone who's in that energy. Now, in the world, uh, in the blockage, you have the world. Something just won't close out, okay? And it's here with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to let go of something, and something's trying to hold on to you. Someone could be two masculines here. Okay, they won't let something go. I feel like you have these two masculines blocked. Here's the Queen of Swords. Like I said, you're protecting this new transformation that you've undergone, whatever you've built newly, whatever is going on with that. Queen of Cups, there could be a, a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio that's involved in this. But I feel like more so, it feels like you've tried to handle something with loving, like a loving hand as much as possible, right? Even though you remove yourself from something. And the three of cups is here, okay? Third party situations. But this is also like mischief or rumors with this seven of cups. People stirring the fucking pot because of the ten of cups. Because like I said, um, you know... There's people that's jealous of this Ten of Cups. Happy life, happy wife, happy family. You could be in a relationship and they're jealous of that or they try to end your relationship or they feel like a relationship is trying to come into you or let's say you're not in a relationship but you have every fucking thing else. You could have, uh, you know, someone who doesn't like you and who's like trying to energetically block a relationship from coming in, right? But you got the Eight of Swords, okay? I feel like uh, you could have been stuck in your head about this. But I also feel like they're stuck in their head because they can't get past it because the tower, okay? Scorpio energy. It's also like how you respond or how you keep coming back as the death card. Like you keep reinventing yourself, okay? And that's uh, that tower energy. Like, whatever they were trying to do against you, it keeps crumbling, right? And the Five of Swords, they won't give up, okay? And then the world, it's like, you try to close it out, but hangman, okay? You you get stuck. And I'm hearing, like, every time I try to get out, they pull me back in, right? And then the Knight of Swords, okay? This person, you know, could be you, right? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you can have that in your chart. But I feel like they be waiting for the shit to pop off. And then the Nine of Cups, yeah, that would make them happy. And what would make them happy? The Nine of Pentacles, seeing you single, okay? They want a final judgment on something, okay? Heartbreak, they could have felt like you caused them heartbreak, but I feel like they're plotting on heartbreak because that's the Seven of Pentacles, right? Look at these two plotting on how to do this and bring this. Okay, so you have the Wheel of Fortune here at the foundation, okay? The blockage is the world, like you can't get it to end. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is that it keeps happening over and over. They keep trying to make illusions, Seven of Cups, okay? Now, also, they feel like you're like a cat, like you have nine lives. Like, uh, they keep trying to do something and... Um, and every time you come up with the good cup, okay? Because some of those cups have bad things in them and some of them have good. And they're like, how the fuck does Scorpio do it? Chariot, right? You keep on ticking. Like, what was that commercial from way back? Um, Seiko, was it? Take Timex, takes a licking and keeps on ticking. They're like, how does Scorpio do that? Seven of Swords. They keep making traps for you. 
the devil, right? Obsessed with it, right? And the Knight of Pentacles. It's taking too long for them. They get, they are frustrated. They want to see the Ten of Swords happen already. There goes that Knight of Wands, okay? Now, the Two of Pentacles is here. This is for uh, the energy that's falling away, okay? So there was a choice that needed to be made or somebody was juggling something, but that's ending now, Spirit. Yeah, um, no more Mrs. Nice, guys. What I'm hearing, you got the Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. You're, you're tired of playing nice and trying to do things nice because all it brings you is heartbreak, okay? And then here's the Queen of Wands. Here's the... Um, I'm getting the nemesis, okay? But this is also fight fire with fire and the ace of swords. There's a truth that needs to be told here with this knight of cups. And I feel like it's both sides. It's like this person wants to say something because they feel like that's going to be the bomb. But then it's like you have something as well that you've been avoiding because you don't want to be involved. But it feels like with this two of pentacles, queen of cups, and three of swords, you're, you're about to... You know, the sun, right, with the king of pentacles. So I'm hearing that Jill Scott Golden song. Something about, um, I can't get the melody right now, but something about I could give you roses from my own garden and you would still hate or some shit like that. Nine of Swords, Spirit Y. Nine of Swords, okay. Um, I feel like you do have anxieties about it because there could be something that's happening at your home that involves this situation or brings something to the front or, or you know. Or like they find a way... To try to bring it into a more personal arena. There goes that King of Wands. With the Ace of Pentacles, they planted something too. Okay, strength. They feel it's something strong. Okay, the Page of Cups. They're going to offer something. But they're still juggling two things, okay? The Nine of Wands. It's like they refuse to give up on going to calmer waters, okay? They see you as the Empress and the Two of Wands. They feel like you can't see something, but the High Priestess is here. You're completely watching them. Five of Pentacles. They're angry because they're on the outside looking in. Four Swords and you look like you're chilling. And they just stay plotting on the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like they want to make it turn in their direction with the Six of Cups under that. They come back in for another Two of Wands, still trying to, you know, force something to happen. I feel like you see this man, he has a knife in his hand. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, because they feel like they've missed some type of opportunity. Okay, so these, whoever this is, like, you need to be mindful of this person because they're going to try to, like, smile in your face all the while they want to take your place, the backstabbers, right? I'm a little uh, nasally today, so even though I normally can't sing, it's even worse today. Hierophant with the Eight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? But I feel like if this was something that was happening, because I told you it was the Emperor. Was it the Emperor here? No. It was a, a wealthy man with a privileged lady and a mature woman. It was like they jealous of something here, right? They could have been trying to make this, uh, this uh, spouse walk away but i feel like what's going to end up happening is that your 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 person walks away from that situation and it causes a tower 
Okay, I feel like this person, they might have had allies, but they're going to be starting to lose those with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's brought to you by the Tower. And then the Knight of Swords comes in, some type of truth or revelation about this ending and about this conniving couple. Okay, like their judgments coming in. Now you got the King of Pentacles, that's how you see yourself, okay? Okay, the King of Pentacles and the Magician. So the King of Pentacles has a lot of wisdom. He's very good with his coins, okay? I feel like you are stepping in that energy, all right? And I feel like you're manifesting something too. I feel like this person doesn't recognize the wisdom that you have and how you're about to flip this magician shit and be the magician yourself and cause a Ten of Swords for somebody else. Now, this magician definitely betrayed you with this Ten of Swords, okay? But it's like this time you see them, Nine of Swords, okay? And I feel like you left them out in the cold and they feel it as a missed opportunity because they still want to come back in, okay? But they would just do it again with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you see yourself as having something up your sleeve for them. Ace of Swords, Spirit, why? Because you have the Ace of Swords with the Three of Swords crossed as to how they see you. So they feel like they can't be honest or that you're not 100% honest with this Moon card crossed. I feel like this person tries to hold information as a weapon. Okay, but they feel like you have a weapon too. Why is this Three of Swords here? They're obsessed with bringing you heartbreak, but it's crossed, okay? Capricorn energy, Five of Cups, and they fucking, you know, like they regret that they didn't succeed. Not like they regret that they betrayed you. No, they regret that they didn't succeed, but they keep making offers. Five of Wands, and they also make offers to others to start conflict, okay, because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. That's, uh, you know, that privileged lady, right? Like that generation, uh, you know, she, she is like an entrepreneur. She's on her shit. She's got her coins, right? And she's the quintessential spouse, okay? So in your hopes and fears... You have the magician with the six of cups. So it's like you know that this motherfucker won't stop. I'm hearing a P, P. Diddy can't stop, won't stop. Okay, with the six of wands, because they want some type of attention or victory. And the page of wands, it's like, but it's all immature, petty shit. And it could have something to do with sex because the Page of Wands is also sexual. Person could be younger than you. Magician, why? Get something for Let me get one more. You got the Magician with the Hierophant and the Two of Wands. There's something sneaky here about commitment. It's like you know that they're trying to hide something, be sneaky, manipulate something, and cause some type of decision. Okay, now you got the Three of Cups. No, you got the King of Cups as the most likely outcome, and it's in reverse. You could also be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be you. Your nerves could be bad from this shit already. I see the King of Cups in reverse as uh, emotionally damaged. Okay, if you're dealing with a masculine uh, King of Cups, they're most emotionally damaged by this, okay? 
And what's fucked up is that, you know, the Nine of Cups is here with the Seven of Pentacles. So that's the fucking desire of this couple. Okay, and they're coming back in for another swipe with the Chariot and the Seven of Swords, another deception, you know, trying to manipulate or do something to this Two of Cups, okay, for the Ten of Pentacles, because that's what they want, right? Eight of Pentacles, they keep working on that, but they could just go and work on being the fucking King of Pentacles right here rather than trying to manipulate the situation and start their own new journey, but, you know, why would they do that, right? Three of Cups. So they have assistance, okay? There could be three feminines in this situation, but this is like third-party energy, okay? Whether it's family, friends, it doesn't matter. They like they branched out, okay? Ace of Swords, they're still... I feel like you're getting clarity about the other, the other people who's involved, okay? And then you got the Hermit crossed. I feel like this person wanted you to be alone, but that's not going to happen, okay? I also feel like, the, you know, the people that are with them are being exposed, okay? You got the Empress at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I feel like you're being protected as the Empress, okay? Spirit, show me anything else I need to know about this. Message of concern. Change and pathway in reverse. Spirit, why is this message of concern here? Soulmates, okay? This could be a soulmate around you that is having a, a situation or they attack your person because they can't get at you. Or, you know, our romantic partners are not only our soulmates, our, our family members are soulmates as well close friends right so something could be going on with one of your soulmates okay there could be rumors about this so this person could have heard about this and take this as an opportunity change okay bargaining begging okay negotiator right with loss ghost block cut off like you might feel like how the fuck did this person get in the cracks okay they're taking advantage of another situation that you got going on Okay, they feel like this is their chance with change and negotiator and lost in reverse. Okay, pathway in reverse for why? Okay, triggers in reverse. Unconditional and genuine love. So this, they're missing the mark again with pathway in reverse and triggers in reverse. You don't care. Okay, you have unconditional love in your life, right? This person is still in some type of emotional lockdown because they keep trying to like trick you or, or something and it keeps entrapping themselves, okay? But they're going to do it again with this on the table offer proposal, okay? They stay stuck in their feelings and that because of that, it's like poison. It's like they're trying to poison you. Meanwhile, they're drinking the poison, you know, that saying. All right. Spirit, what do you want my collective uh, Scorpio gang to work on for the month of November? And if you could like this for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. All right. You guys got the uh, happiness, love and happiness. Al Green. Okay. Go listen to that. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I told you you're cutting off people, places, and things because you don't want to be bothered with that bullshit. And forgiveness. Okay. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocked the flow of love. I feel like you're letting the shit go. Okay. I feel like you're not fucking with them, but I feel like you're letting it go, okay, even though they don't deserve it. Okay, I'm going to get a love and romance, then I'm going to head over to the extended where I will look at this person's true feelings for you, their true intentions, um, what they can't see, what they're currently experiencing, and the most likely outcome, okay? Spirit, can you show me? You got attraction and love yourself first, spirit. Why? 
So I feel like uh, these could be, uh, you know, a person, place, or thing, somebody that you fucked with, but you just can't be on the same page with them because they're always doing trifling shit, right? And love yourself first. This could even be family, right? Love yourself first. Okay, because maybe at one time you wanted to reconcile with this person, whether it be in a relationship or not, but you got faith and destiny in reverse, okay? You feel like they don't do nothing but be sneaky with this mask on, okay? I feel like there could be children involved in this. Okay, secret love, hidden uh, love, meeting in secret. This could have all been about a third party. But I also feel like there could be some secret communication that's happening. Okay, there's a need for a karmic release here. And I feel like you are retreating from this situation. All right, so that's what I have for you guys, my Scorpio gang gang. I'm going to be heading over to the extended. If you're interested in that, you can find my Patreon in the description box and follow me over there. If this is where we part ways, I'd like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.